Uh, the images are just horrible um, and uh, just hard to watch. And our thoughts, obviously, are going to be with the, the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack. Um, and I think, you know, you, you look at that video if you have, and you got to recognize that there's some moms and dads and brothers and sisters and sons and daughters that haven't gotten the news yet. And this is going to be a tough day. Um, so our thoughts are with them. Um, you might have also seen, hopefully you saw our state, the State Department, our embassy there, uh, put out a notice to all Americans uh, in Moscow to avoid any large gathering, concerts, obviously shopping malls, anything like that, uh, just for their own safety. They should, uh, they should stay put where they are and stay plugged into the State Department for any additional updates and information. Uh, did the U.S. have prior knowledge of this attack uh, in, in Moscow, given that the uh, U.S. Embassy had issued warning beforehand? I'm not aware of any advanced knowledge that we had uh, of this, this, this on, terrible attack. On March 8th, uh, the Embassy warns of imminent attack in Moscow by extremists. Yeah, I, I think that I'll let the State Department speak to that, I think, but I don't think that was related to this specific attack. Um, on the uh, attack in, uh, on, on Moscow, I know you're still gathering information, but do you have any sense whether this could be linked at all to the conflict in Ukraine? There is no indication at this time that Ukraine uh, or Ukrainians were involved in the shooting. Real quick, to follow up on Russia, is, is there any indication, there's been speculation, that it shows with the protest that was brought up with uh, Alexei's death, that there is some pattern of instability now in the Russian regime? Would you? confirm that or do you think it's too early to say that? I, I, I think it's difficult with the, the news today to, to make some broader point about instability in Moscow or in Russia. Clearly, uh, um, you know, there are people in, uh, in Moscow and in Russia that object to the way Mr. Putin is governing the, the country. But I don't think we're at this early hour we can make a link between the, the, the shopping mall attack and uh, in political motivations. I think we just, we just need to, we need more time and we need to learn more information. Awesome.